Balin is uh, really a diversified company. We do industrial products. We build uh, buildings. We build the beams, uh, build all the panels, steel work. We do a lot of welding on that aspect. We also do grain bins and custom fab work all the way down to livestock handling equipment, livestock gates, stock tanks. Just really diversified in the product that we produce. So our culture ties into innovation with the continuous improvement aspect, 100%. We're bringing automation in, we're bringing new ideas in. I mean, lean has been tried before, but we've we've created a whole new group to start our lean journey, to go in our, our new path. With our lean journey, we're looking at Focus Factory. We're looking at Manufacturing 4.0. We're looking at Industry 4.0. What tools can we bring to the table that we haven't used before? So by innovating, we keep up to date, we keep up with our competition and our competitors, and we keep our family whole. A lot of my job entails looking at new equipment to bring new equipment in. We also do a lot of work with plant layouts. We have approximately about 900,000 square foot of space out here. With the three, four business units that we have, space over time gets occupied. And so it's not as simple as just move a item in and, and put it there. A lot of times we need to keep that equipment running while we try to bring something in. And how do we take that and maximize what we have for space overall? You have to, to stay up with Everything from your SolidWorks technologies to robotics, if you can find it and you have the ability to learn it, learn it. I never would have thought that I would have been doing the stuff I'm doing on computer now, you know, working with uh, 3D modeling, being able to show that visual. And that's the easiest thing I keep coming back to. There's a lot of people that don't see in 3D. They can understand I move a box, but when you can actually show something in, in 3D and you show movement to something, the thought process of where the future is, using uh, virtual reality goggles to actually put yourself into that scene. We saw it for the first, first time at community college. What is this? Okay, so you went in and, and you made this like like a like a video game. No, this is an actual plant. So what do you do with it? Oh, we can simulate this process and then we can, if we tweak it this way or we turn the machine this way or we put the person here, we take these steps out, then we can figure out whether or not it's quicker or faster. It's real life and it's happening in front of your eyes on a computer screen or a TV screen and you can change it and see what's gonna work the best. Some of the ideas we might come up with might, might not be the safest ideas. They might not be the, the best ideas for quality or the machine itself. You take all of that out by bringing those processes in to see if they'll work. Being able to make some decisions without actually having to do the physical moving. In a facility like ours, it's not as simple as in I can move something in. It's very difficult to move something in a matter of a week. We have to plan it out. If I take away from this spot, I gotta make six moves to make that happen someplace else. That technology allows us to really look at things, set it up and ensure that what we're doing is the right thing before we ever touch an area like that. I think it will be a game changer. What if we brought this in? What if we brought this technology and used it? There was, there was probably three people going, well, what if we did bring it in at the community college? And the question was, what if we don't? What if we don't bring this technology in and then our competitor does? Every time I talk to uh, somebody else about the system, you find out what more it can do and it just gets you more excited. And I think that's the biggest thing is you're not, you're not buying into just one program. You have this entire system that allows you so many more avenues and to really look into all of it. I don't know if there's a single company I've worked for so far that I couldn't have used this program on. If the C-suite was to be able to take that technology, sit down and watch it for an hour and see how everything was laid out and how everything was planning, you could create a three-year, five-year, 10-year strategy from that technology and carry it out and test it.